Hey guys, uh, we're taking a look at the Johnson & Johnson All-Purpose First Aid Kit. And let me pre preface this video by saying that I am not a first aid expert. Um, I am not a expert at putting together first aid kits or disaster preparedness kits. But what I do feel I am a good representation of, of just is the average person, uh, average lay person who buys these types of kits and puts them away uh, in their closet or in the trunk of their car or just wherever it, it might happen to be that you store your first aid kit and you buy that kit and you never think about it again. So uh, I've been s I've spent the last week or so looking over the various uh, how-to construction videos for uh, disaster preparedness and first aid kits and things of that nature and it got me curious as to what types of things I had in my own house because I've always been the one the type of person who has a first aid kit in my house but I don't necessarily give it much thought as to what is in that kit um, so I found myself at Walmart today looking at various um, types of bandages and you know antibiotics and things like that you know just trying to get a feel for the price of putting together my own kit and I saw several pallets of these sitting out on uh, out on display. And literally, they had a pallet uh, as tall as I was, um, you know, almost six feet tall, uh, in the middle of their aisle, was selling these guys for nine dollars. So that made me curious. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what's actually in that box. So let's find out. Now, so let's take a look at this. According to Johnson and Johnson, there are over 170 items and 11 first aid needs in this kit. So, let's see here. Well, first thing we've got is, of course, product placement, coupons for more stuff. I love that. Little first aid guide, as I mentioned in my previous video, talking about car kit. Yes, these instruction books are maybe nice to have if you read them ahead of time, but most people aren't probably going to look at these kits until they actually need them. So these books are pretty much useless because who's going to read the directions when you've got someone bleeding in front of you? Um, we have a box of sheer Comfort Flex band-aids, variety of sizes, 80 count. Again, like I've seen most of the reviewers state that most of these kits are geared towards being a household nicks, cuts, and scrapes type kit. Not necessarily any type of trauma beyond maybe I skinned my knee. Now I've got a single light stick. Heavy cold compress, which is actually quite nice because, you know, in a disaster situation or an emergency, you may or may not have ice in your refrigerator or a ice pack ready to go in your freezer. Uh, we have an emergency uh, survival wrap, which is nice. A little out of place since this is more of like a household variety kit. I guess suppose, supposedly though if you keep this in your car, um, maybe this would be useful, but assuming you're, if this is in your house, uh, you're going to have a roof over your head and you're going to have uh, probably blankets in your house and these types of blankets are they generate their heat based upon uh, reflectivity of sunlight and also keeping uh, ambient temperature that you already have your body temperature inside so I don't know what use this would be inside your house um, if you're out in the boonies or stuck on the side of the road maybe this would be more useful but with that point of use, I don't know what you would need 80 bandages for, so we've got kind of a, a mixed signals thing going on here. Is this indoors? Is it outdoors? Is it, you know, kitchen cupboard type first aid kit, or is it emergency out in the, the boonies kit? Um, we have, looks like generic latex gloves. Actually, these are vinyl gloves, so but for those of you who are allergic to latex, that's a nice touch. A very, very small roll of Johnson & Johnson tape. 
We have another box of bandages, flexible fabric, knuckles and fingertips, 20 pack. Again, that's a lot of bandages for a, kind of an emergency kit. Um, a pair of plastic tweezers. Uh, they have some side to side movement to them. It's actually nice they have these little locking clips. A lot of the cheap tweezers when you when you clamp them together they slide off of each other but because these have got this nice little these little blades here they actually clamp together. So pulling out large stickers and things like that that would probably be useful but that point isn't super sharp. I think you'd be better served with a nice set of manicurists. Sorry if the focus is not working so well. Uh, emergency contact numbers, that's kind of nice. Again, you need to think ahead of for something like this. I think most people probably won't open this kit until they absolutely need it, so another item of maybe dubious use. Okay, so here's what a lot of people view as the important parts of your first aid kit. Most people are probably going to have bandages just sitting around in their med medicine cabinet, but what they won't have or things like this uh, field dressing. So we've got it. Uh, one, two, three. No, excuse me. Three of these new gauze all-purpose dressings, two by two, four by four ply. Appear to be sterile variety. I've noticed some of these uh, items are marked sterile. Some of them are not. Um, iPad. That's kind of nice if somebody damages their eye, uh, gets something in, stuck in their eye. Uh, one of the first things you'll want to do is immobilize it. That way they're not trying to look around or dig at it and cause further damage. So you slap that on and get them to the emergency room. Oh, here we go. Got a fourth one of these small pads. I don't know really. I mean, these seem almost too small to be useful because any cut that's going to be this small you could probably cover up with a large bandage. You know, if you've got a really deep cut this is not going to soak up enough blood or be large enough to be, I think, that useful. But that's just my opinion. Tongue depressor, lots of uses. Um, spreading medications, things like that. Eh, nice to have. Would be nice if it were actually in a sterile wrapper rather than just floating around. Uh, Neosporin. I'm a big fan of Neosporin. I know some people have mixed feelings about that, but I'm a big fan of Neosporin. Uh, first aid primers. I don't know what a first aid primer is in, on in all honesty. Ah, looks like it is a type of dressing for fingers. I don't know. Never heard of a primer. Might be nice if for non-common things for people like me. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. Yeah, no. Premiers. I have no idea what it is. Um, large bandage, again, some type of bandage, no real instructions saying how to use maybe fingers, something along those lines, I don't know. Cordaid anti-itch cream, that's nice, but again, I don't, what is this in here for? Um, again, if this is going to be a Household kit, what is anti-itch cream, at least, there's not very much of it in here. Um, seems like this, if you got poison ivy, poison oak, something along those, some type of contact dermatitis, you would probably need more than what is in this little kit. Okay, we've got more random band-aids, small band-aids, medium-sized band-aids. Ah, here we go, butterfly sutures, those are nice. Actually, you know what, these... This other pack was another small pack of butterfly sutures. Sorry about that, guys. The battery apparently died on me. But basically, like I was saying, most of these small Tylenol packs and stuff like this are pretty much useless. The only thing that they're really in here is product placement, so people will go out and buy more of a particular product. Um, you could probably say that almost for this entire case based upon the fact that you've got these coupons in here.